I want us to ease into the vile act, so starting off we have the monster study. This study was conducted on orphan children, which probably should have raised a few red flags. The study involved praising half the children for their fluency in speech. The other half would be belittled for any speech imperfections. The orphan children that spoke normal but were belittled had suffered negative psychological effects. They developed problems with their speech and others even became self-conscious and became reluctant to speak at all. For some of these children, they retained these problems later into adulthood, and the impediments never went away. It was named the Monster Study as scientific peers believed it was horrifying that anyone could conduct such an experiment, let alone on orphans. Only later in 2001 did the university publicly apologize for such a destructive experiment. Unit 731 Now, we're going to jump to the most heinous acts of humanity. These sets of experiments are the incarnation of evil itself. Where to start? Unit 731 involved the testing of infectious diseases by injecting them into humans. Others were not so lucky as they were used as live ballistic dummies for active bombs. These bombs were designed to penetrate skin and infect the victims. A few were amputated just to see how long they could survive without their limbs. For others, it was starvation. Are you starting to get it now? If they had any kind of sick twisted idea they were curious about, they did it on these victims. Now who you may ask are the victims? Well, men and women were the typical subjects, but they didn't rule out children either. And yes, that includes children that haven't been born yet. That's right, they experimented on pregnant women. I won't go into the details, but that's why you have the internet. The purpose of this research was to benefit Japanese soldiers. They wanted to see how much the human body could withstand when exposed to various conditions. The San Jose Project. This experiment was conducted on United States soldiers by the United States. This declassified government program was meant to test mustard gas and other chemical agents on American troops. They were testing these chemical agents to see the effect they had on different colored skins. They used African Americans, Japanese, and even Puerto Rican soldiers. Even the white soldiers were used as the control group for these tests. Mustard gas is known to damage DNA within seconds of making contact. It causes painful skin blisters and burns and it can also lead to serious and sometimes life-threatening illnesses like leukemia, skin cancer, and asthma. According to declassified records and reports, three types of experiments were done. Patch tests, where liquid mustard gas was applied directly onto the skin. Field tests, where subjects were exposed to gas outdoors in simulated combat settings. And chamber tests, where men were locked inside of gas chambers while mustard gas was piped inside. What a sick way to serve your country. MK Ultra. This illegal human experiment was carried out by the CIA. Their goal was to find a way to take control of other people's minds. They did this using various methods such as isolation, electroshock hypnosis, and even high doses of LSD given daily. After some experimentation, they realized mind control was a two-step process. The first step is to blast away the existing mind. The second step was to insert a new mind into the resulting void. They didn't find much success with the second step, but the first? Well, let's just say there's a reason they continue for 20 more years. The result was the loss of many lives and the long-term destruction of many others. They eventually realized human mind control was not possible and the project was shut down. Testicle Radiation Yeah, you heard me right. Hate to leave the girls out on this one, but I'm sure you'll understand. The purpose of this experiment is to test the effect of radiation on male reproductive function. There was a machine made to give a uniform amount of radiation on both sides. The gonads were placed in a tiny box filled with warm water to encourage, um, relaxation. Your family jewels were then blasted with about 400 rads of radiation. This is equivalent to about 2400 chest x-rays. They did this in 10 minute intervals and recorded the results, which were, you guessed it, cancer. I just don't know how they thought this was a good idea. I mean, it was well known that radiation caused cancer by this point. Did they just think that the most vulnerable part of a man was somehow immune? I don't know. This wasn't as evil as the others, but I thought I'd end on a high note. Anyway, that's all I have for this video. Stay cool and peace out.